Right, what's happening guys? So it's JJ Richards here and as you can probably tell, this is not England. So today I am vlogging from the island of Lesbos. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which is a Greek island. So we kind of booked this trip towards the last few weeks of contest prep just because we thought we needed to get away, have some quality family time, have a bit of downtime. So it's just me, Lucy and Finlay here for a whole week and this is currently day two. So yesterday was just the first day just to really get to know the apartment complex, get into some kind of routine because unfortunately, mentally, I don't have the ability to switch off and I need some kind of routine and stability in my life. So I kind of got that in yesterday. So I'll show you guys what that routine's looking like. However, so far day two, very, very impressed. The food is great, which is the main thing for me. Gym is diabolical. I use the phrase gym very lightly, but I'll show you guys what I'm working with for the next week. And also, the island of Lesbos apparently is the island of lesbians, which we didn't know when we booked it, but that could be pretty cool. And last night, me and Lucy and Finley went to this meet and greet over at the pool bar, and we were convinced it was some kind of swingers convention because all the partners broke off. Everyone was extremely chatty overly friendly so we were convinced it was some kind of swingers thing either that or these are just the most friendly people i've ever met i don't know but guys stay tuned hope you enjoy this travel vlog don't forget to subscribe and enjoy good morning guys so day three here in greece so it's about half past six in the morning which is around half past four uk time and i've just finished my cardio for the morning so every morning I've kind of been waking up, doing 40 minutes of cardio, 10, 15 minutes of abs, then I have my morning coffee, then I head back into the room to get another hour's sleep, and then we wake up and have breakfast. So that's the morning routine. So I know it's weird that I'm doing cardio on holiday. However, for me, I just find it very relaxing. It's kind of like my meditation because I struggle to switch my brain off. So actually doing meditation, sitting there, wouldn't work for me, I've tried it before. So I like getting on the cross trainer, hammering it out for 40 minutes, gets me set up for the day, makes me feel good, gets the energy levels high, as does the coffee. So I'm off back now, get another hour or so sleep, then we'll catch up with you guys after. Right, so we're just about to head over to the beach now for two reasons. Reason number one is I wanna get some sick drone shots. And reason number two is I'm going to actually try and partake in some water sport activities. So I've tried them in the past and they haven't gone very well, but I'm going to give it another go and see how we get on. Can I go for the um, coca bongo, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready? No. Cheers. In one. You ready? Over the Look top. at that. Over the top. Look at that, it's good. 
I'm like a fucking vlogging pro. I've got my natural iPhone light there. It's pretty dark. We decided to go and have a date night tonight. Lucy's shit faced. Just couldn't even handle all our cocktails either. I had to drink them for her because she's a pussy. So Tuesday and Thursday nights is a good night for grown ups because the kids club have the kids till like 11 o'clock. So it's only like, what time is that? Half 10. It's half 10, but we don't drink too often. We don't really get out of the house very much. So we're slightly intoxicated, but we don't care. We're on holiday. If you can't drink when you're on holiday, then what the fucking hell is the point? Lucy's shit scared as well because um, we just we just come across a scorpion on the floor. So I've had to shine my light on the ground so I shouldn't step on a scorpion. Watch out, babe! <laughs> right, we're back at the hotel now. So I'm gonna pick up my little dude. He'll be asleep and tired. We're gonna go to bed. Cause Lucy's shit faced. I'm up, I'm up for a few more drinks personally, but I'm not a pussy, but Lucy is. Shut up. Right, so we're just now in the gym, if you can call it a gym, because it is very, very limited. However, there's enough just to do a little cheeky workout. So I'm gonna do a bit of chest and shoulders today, but literally let me show you what they've got in this gym. So, fantastic selection of dumbbells. This is the barbell, some kind of 50 year old cast iron barbell set that you'd probably have at home. Cross trainer, so I've been doing 40 minutes on the cross trainer every morning. Treadmill, bike, that's the wife. And then they've literally just got a couple of bits of functional training kit. So you can do a little bit of stuff on the TRX, some kettlebells which are probably good enough for Finley to use, and that is pretty much the gym. Right, so moving on to chest now. So what I'm gonna do is a superset. So I'm just gonna go quite high volume. So I'm basically gonna be doing a dumbbell fly into like a chest press, but with the hex dumbbells, you can squeeze them together so you can really focus on contracting the center part of your chest. But the aim is with these is to do them super, super slow and focus more on squeezing the dumbbells together rather than moving away up and down. But I'll show you what I mean anyway. Right, so second exercise for chest, and I'm gonna do kind of like a improvised bench press. I've only done one set. The weight's quite light, and it is awkward as fuck trying to get it into position, but we're just trying to go for 15 to 20 reps, super slow, just to get a bit of blood in the old boobies.
Right, so the last exercise we'll be doing for today is like a front raise, but rather than having knuckles facing up, focus on the front delt, you'll be turning the palm upwards. So basically, bring the arms up to the side, and you're bringing them up and in, slight bend in the elbow, and you'll feel it more in the chest than you do on the front delt. It's quite a good exercise to do at the end of the workout. Nice and slow, really squeeze at the top. So we'll do three sets of this, about 20 reps. Right, so gym session completed. Just doing a little bit of post-workout cardio. So just taking a little cycle ride into town to stock up on some monsters. But I want to show you guys something which is really cool. Well, at least I think it's real cool anyway. Look at that booty. Right, you can't really see very clear. But if you look at those little guys, what are they, tortoises or turtles? Are they tor turtles? Turtles. So there must be a few hundred turtles in this little river, which I've never seen before. Bye bye Greece. Bye bye Grace. So see you again one day. See you one day. So, peace. Peace.